Now came I where the water's din was heard, as down it fell into the other round, resounding like the hum of swarming bees, when forth together issued from a troop, that passed beneath the fierce tormenting storm, three spirits, running swift. They towards us came, and each one cried aloud, O do thou stay! Whom by the fashion of thy garb we deem to be some inmate of our evil land? Ah me! What wounds I marked upon their limbs, recent and old, inflicted by the flames! E'en the remembrance of them grieves me yet. Attentive to their cry my teacher paused, and turned to me his visage, and then spake, Wait now! Our courtesy these merit well, and were tea not for the nature of the place, whence glide the fiery darts, I should have said, that haste had better suited thee than them. They, when we stopped, resumed their ancient wail, and soon as they had reached us, all the three whirled round together in one restless wheel. As naked champions, smeared with slippery oil, are wont intent to watch their place of hold and vantage, ere in closer strife they meet, thus each one, as he wheeled, his countenance at me directed so that opposite the neck emil beat ever to the twinkling feet. If misery of this drear wilderness, thus one began, added to our sad cheer and destitute, do call forth scorn on us and our entreaties, let our great renown incline thee to inform us who thou art, that dost imprint with living feet unharmed the soil of hell. He, in whose track thou seest my steps pursuing, naked though he be and reft of all, was of more high estate than thou believest, Grandchild of the chaste Gualdrata, him they Guido Guerra called, who in his lifetime many a noble act achieved, both by his wisdom and his sword. The other, next to me that beats the sand, is Aldo Brandy, named deserving well, in the upper world, of honor, and myself who in this torment do partake with them, am Rusticuxi, whom, passed out, my wife of savage temper, more than aught beside hath to this evil brought. If from the fire I had been sheltered, down amidst them straight I then had cast me, nor my guide, I deem, would have restrained my going, but that fear of the dire burning vanquished the desire, which made me eager of their wished embrace. I then began, not scorn, but grief much more, such as long time alone can cure, your doom fixed deep within me, soon as this my lord spake words, whose ten are taught me to expect that such a race, as ye are, was at hand. I am a countryman of yours, who still affectionate have uttered, and have heard your deeds and names renowned. Leaving the gall for the sweet fruit I go, that a sure guide hath promised to me. But behooves, that far as to the center first I downward tend. So may long space thy spirit guide thy limbs, he answer straight returned, and so thy fame shine bright, when thou art gone, as thou shalt tell, if courtesy and valor, as they want, dwell in our city, or have vanished clean? For one amidst us late condemned to wail, or Sierre, yonder walking with his peers, grieves us no little by the news he brings. An upstart multitude and sudden gains, pride and excess, O Florence! Have in thee engendered, so that now in tears thou mournst. Thus cried I with my face upraised, and they all three, who for an answer took my words, looked at each other, as men look when truth comes to their ear. If thou at other times, they all at once rejoined, so easily satisfy those, who question, happy thou, gifted with words, so apt to speak thy thought. Wherefore if thou escape this darksome climb, returning to behold the radiant stars, when thou with pleasure shalt retrace the past, see that of us thou speak among mankind. This said, they broke the circle, and so swift fled, that his pinions seemed their nimble feet. Not in so short a time might one have said Amen, as they had vanished. Straight my guide pursued his track. I followed, and small space had we passed onward, when the water's sound was now so near at hand, that we had scarce heard one another's speech for the loud din. Ian is the river, that holds on its course unmingled, from the Mount of Vesulo, on the left side of Apennine, toward the east, which Aquachita higher up they call, ere it descend into the vale, at Forley by that name no longer known, Rebelozo or St. Benedict, rolled on from the alpine summit down a precipice, were space enough to lodge a thousand spreads, thus downward from a craggy steep we found, that this dark wave resounded, roaring loud, so that the ear its clamor soon had stunned. I had a cord that bracked my girdle round, wherewith I erst had thought fast bound to take the painted leopard. This one I had all unloosened from me, so my master bade, I gathered up, and stretched it forth to him. 
Then to the right he turned, and from the brink standing few paces distant, cast it down into the deep abyss. And somewhat strange, thus to myself I spake, signal so strange betokens, which my guide with earnest eye thus follows. Ah! What caution must men use with those who look not at the deed alone, but spy into the thoughts with subtle skill. Quickly shall come, he said, what I expect, thine I discover quickly, that whereof thy thought is dreaming. Ever to that truth, which but the semblance of a falsehood wears, a man, if possible, should bar his lip, since, although blameless, he incurs reproach. But silence here were vain, and by these notes which now I sing, reader, I swear to thee, so may they favor find to latest times. That through the gross and murky air I spied a shape come swimming up, that might have quelled the stoutest heart with wonder, in such guise as one returns, who hath been down to loose an anchor grappled fast against some rock, or to what else that in the salt wave lies, who upward springing close draws in his feet.